We all know BMWs are the funnest cars to drive in the world, but along with being the funnest cars to drive, they're also one of the... <laughs> they're fucking headaches, right? When it gives you problems, boy, does it give you problems. What I've got has been GD here from Get Fixed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the most common issues you're going to come across when it comes to BMWs. Let's get it. Get Fixed. Let's get it. I swear, every time I start the ignition of my BMW, all I hear is, I don't want peace. I want problems, always. Anyways, issue number one is a leaky fuel rail. Boy, does this problem have its way of finding its way right back to me. This is actually the second time I've experienced this issue. The first time was at about 55,000 miles. I used to race my car all the time, so I was on the interstate driving back home after an hour long of racing, and I started to smell fuel. So I was like, what the f***? Pulled over to the shoulder of I-95, I popped open the hood, and poof, whole bunch of smoke everywhere. When I took a closer look to see what the problem was, I realized my fuel rail had a pin-sized hole that was spilling fuel all over the engine. That could cause a fire, so I was lucky that didn't happen, but if it engulfed in flames, I would have been fucked. Issue number two, leaky fuel injector. Following the fuel rail failing, the fuel injector decided to give up on me also. I'm not sure if it's because the system was pressurized to a point where somehow it messed up the injector and caused it to leak. But anyways, if you experience a leaky fuel injector, you're going to get rough running. Following rough running conditions, you could also experience a drivetrain malfunction, which is basically saying that there's something wrong with the engine. Maybe the spark plug coils, the spark plug, the fuel injector, something in your engine gave out and it's throwing off that signal. Issue number three, a blown head gasket. You could experience a blown head gasket no matter what mileage you're at. You could be at 20,000 miles and experience a blown head gasket. But this is due to how you drive your car. Let's say, for example, you use a Tiptronic feature and you're shifting manually using that feature. If you shift at the wrong time or incorrect time or you let the car redline, then there's a high chance you're going to experience a blown head gasket. And last but not least, issue number four, oil filter housing leak. This could be one of the worst nightmares you're ever going to experience and here's why. If you're driving your vehicle, right, and the oil filter housing begins to leak, what's going to happen is it's going to start spilling on your serpentine belt. The serpentine belt is located at the front of the engine and so is the oil filter housing. But anyways, once that oil gets onto the serpentine belt, it lubricates the serpentine belt and it's going to cause the serpentine belt to slip off of the drivetrain and come off. The serpentine belt basically drives all the operations in your car your engine, your AC compressor, and also the alternator. The alternator is used to charge the vehicle, and if the serpentine belt flies off, the alternator is not spinning, therefore your battery is not being charged. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna be in the middle of driving, out of nowhere you're gonna feel the steering wheel get stiff, and then you're gonna get like some type of battery drainage malfunction, and then your car is gonna shut off. <laughs> the battery's gonna die, and you're gonna get stuck wherever you were driving that so if that's on the interstate you're gonna be stuck on the interstate so be careful with that issue and fix it as soon as possible because if you don't you're gonna experience hell there you have it guys if you have any questions be sure to let me know what it is down in the comments below benji d here from get fixed and i'm out yes sir peace let's get it